Ash welcome die-hard Steelers fans. Today we bring you a shocking piece of news that's creating quite a buzz in the football world Deontay Johnson our talented wide receiver has been traded to the Carolina go anywhere and stay with us until the end just 21 hours ago a new story was published that shipped the entire Pittsburgh Steelers fan base Deontay Johnson who has been a crucial pillar of our team spoke for the first time about his trade to the Panthers in a recent interview Johnson commented I guess they didn't want to trade me to any AFC team I'm here now in the NFC it is what it is they did what they felt was best for them I couldn't do anything about it so I'm going to make plays with the team I'm with or the team I was traded to I'm here in Carolina so I'm here to work this trade was not a sudden decision Mike Garrow of NFL Network had previously reported that Johnson and his agent had conversations with several teams including the Kansas City Chiefs however the Steelers decided it wouldn't be beneficial to trade Johnson within the conference so they opted to send him to the Panthers an NFC team that has been looking to bolster its receiving course since last year and return the Steelers received Dante Jackson a talented cornerback who will play alongside Joey Porter Jr. this season Jackson has a one-year contract valued at six dollars million Deontay Johnson's departure leaves a significant gap in the Steelers offense but the team hasn't wasted any time in seeking solutions to try and fill this void the Steelers have signed several receivers because Watkins Van Jefferson and Scatty Miller all players with the potential to contribute to the team additionally in the third round of the draft they selected Roman Wilson a promising young player who could become a key piece for the offense despite these moves the Steelers are still exploring options they remain in contact with other teams for potential trades looking for a star receiver who could further strengthen the team before the season begins although nothing tangible has been finalized so far there is hope they can close an important deal in the coming weeks this trade of d johnson not only affect additions compensate for johnson's loss how will dante jackson adapt to the defense and what impact will he have on the steelers secondary only time will tell but one thing is certain the upcoming season promises to be exciting and full of challenges for the pittsburgh steelers don't forget to subscribe to our channel like this video and activate the notification bell to stay up tote with the latest news and analysis about the pittsburgh steelers we want to hear your opinion so leave your comments below what do you think about the trade of Deontay Johnson. Do you think the new players can fill his void? See you in the next video. Steelers fans were always here with the best news for you. Hash Pittsburgh Steelers cornerback Beanie Bishop is determined to secure his spot on the team after signing with the franchise. If you're following the battle for the cornerback position on the Pittsburgh Steelers count me among the interested not just for the competition itself but for who's involved so far the standouts of Josiah Scott and the energetic product from West Virginia Beanie Bishop coming from West Virginia Bishop was considered someone who could compete for the position from day one even as an undrafted player however he must first demonstrate his understanding to earn a spot. And I want to emphasize that this is just a piece of the work because the Steelers have divided responsibilities in the cornerback position in the past. Since Mike Hilton's departure, the Steelers have opted for a cornerback for passing plays who can also double as a dime backer and another for running plays Arthur Mallett would handle the running plays while Cam Sutton took on 
the role of cornerback for passing plays. This has been their approach in recent seasons currently Bishop S projected for the role of cornerback for running plays. Wilson and forcing a fumble Bishop appears to be competing with Wilson and it's likely the rookies will face off more than once during the summer I'm excited about it you know two young guys coming in and competing for a spot on the team like you said iron sharpens iron bishop commented on the matchup with wilson but bishop needs to maintain a special mindset to secure his spot on the team not being drafted after being underrated coming out of high school only fuels bishop's fire on the field he likes to get under the receiver's skin and into their heads what he lacks in size he makes up for with aggression i like to hit guys in the mouth a lot of receivers don't like to play that way there are a lot of receivers who are pretty and things like that i don't like to be a pretty player i'm one of those nasty and physical guys i play with an edge to my game and i'm fearless said bishop bishop never feels comfortable mainly because he doesn't have the luxury to do so this aligns with mike tomlin's mantra of not wide receiver seeking nearly 30 million dollars per year contract brandon akak the san francisco 49ers wide receiver is reportedly seeking a contract similar to that of a Monner street brown almost 30 million dollars annually after several receivers fatten their wallets before the nfl draft Ock is looking to secure his financial future in a big way the drama surrounding brandon ock and talks related to the pittsburgh steelers have been a topic of conversation for two months at one point it seemed like the trade could happen during the nfl draft but now if that deal materializes before the start of the season it's almost certainly going to take place during training camp once negotiations between the 49ers and Ock have worsened. What's the issue between Ock and the 49ers? There's a significant difference of opinion regarding the contract last week. Mike Garafalo reported that the 49ers and Ock were far up to the team's OT yet and after drafting Ricky Peep in the first round. San Francisco has some flexibility if they're so far apart the question arises how much does Ock want to be paid according to Jeremy Fowler of ESPN Ock is using a monitor of St. Brown's new contract as a reference for his next deal which could push the average annual value to over $30 million per season San Francisco with Brandon Ock they've been talking they've been negotiating Fowler said nothing imminent so far but certainly there's a chance I'm told the Benchmark here is a Monner St. Brown. Because he got $28 million per year on a for year deal with Detroit the goal. Apparently is for Ock to try to top that. Take that as you will but as Fowler points out St. Brown received $28 million. Annually AJ Brown and the Eagles sat down to negotiate and bumped his salary up to $32 million per year so there's Undoubtedly, similar range the question will be whether the Steelers are willing to pay Ock that amount of money and negotiate significant draft capital to do so however they can certainly accommodate Ock's salary quest if they so desire.